Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah and today's video is the birthday haul, the long-awaited birthday haul. Now the lounge fly backpack, I am going to leave till the end. I'm being very restrained, although if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen the lounge fly that lights up and is signed. So, very excited for that one. I'm not going to show everything that I got. Some of the bits and bobs. I'm not going to get everything out of the packaging either, by the way because that would be a lot and I kind of just want to get to the lounge flight I know that sounds really bad so I probably should do that first but I'm going to do that one last if anyone's seen my videos before I love Elsa, Frozen 2 especially so I have this giant Elsa and Nock pop figure look at this, it is huge it's absolutely massive so I'm going to need to decide where to dis she needs to be displayed although saying that just up there, right there in my eye line is the Elsa with that outfit and Bruni lounge fly backpack and I also have the spirit Elsa when she's in her end dress limited edition doll from the Disney store so this might actually display very nicely in front of that because you gotta have a pop figure right so I'm gonna get in a bit of a mess excuse me oh I also had these lights for my birthday these little dangly lights from Dunelm they're Mickey's now I did test and when I did a quick recording with them switched on there was a bit of flickering so I have turned them off just because I don't need a flickering going on. Sticking with the Elsa theme, I have this amazing cup. Now, I did put these pink packing peanuts in there, just so you can see it a bit better. Look at this. Can you tell that I love Elsa? So, this cup might have to display up there as well, because sometimes I feel like they're too nice to use. Also, my friend made this. So, I have some amazing friends. I really do. Oh, I have all four of the Harry Potter bitties. Now I feel like I might just unbox these as their own video because otherwise this would be a very long video. But I have all four of them and I love these bitties. I have some of the Star Wars ones. Actually I have a Mickey one. I think that's downstairs. I have the whatever set has Sorcerer Mickey in there. I got that one and I'm waiting for the princesses to come out because there's an Elsa and an Ariel in those. So I will be unboxing these at some point. See, I have everything like arranged nice and neatly down by my feet, and now that I'm moving everything, I'm messing with the flow. I love makeup. Are you shocked? Can you tell? I like to try and do little funky makeup with my eyes. And I have been after, for the most part, I use ColourPop for the colours in the eyes. I use like a whole host of makeup for like foundation, mascara, all that kind of stuff. But for my eyes, I tend to use Colourpop just because their colours are so vibrant and but pigmented and they just last. They last. And you can have like extra glittery bits. Because who doesn't love glitter? I've been looking for something with red in it for quite a while. Somebody who knows me rather well. Oh, they have these little plastic bits. Very careful. Got me this. We have red. Look at that. It's beautiful. There's a hair. Get off hair. That was one of mine on my sleeve. But I also love this one. It's like a black and purple glitter mixed together. That one is beautiful. They're all beautiful. But I don't think I have anything with that in it either. So, I mean, I can do like a snow white look now, can't I? I always try and put that down very carefully. Because the last thing I want to do is mess with any of the little palettes. And just look at the little box that comes in. It's so sweet. I have on the way, actually, Colourpop have done a Naruto set. No spoilers, please. I'm very early to the Naruto game. But I'm getting there. They Colourpop have done a Naruto set. And I can't remember for the life of me now what I got. But I've got something from the Naruto set coming. So we'll have to wait for that one. Ooh, actually, I'll do these two together. So the same friend that made the Elsa Cup also made me this beautiful keychain that says to infinity and beyond. Which I'm going to have to put on my backpacks. And I've already told her she could probably open an Etsy shop and sell these. She made me this. She said she designed this as well for me. It's just like a plaque, a plaque, a black tote bag. And it says, here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow and fantasy. So it's like the sign when you're kind of leaving Magic Kingdom. Look at this. Look at this. It is glittery because glitter what why not can you ever have enough glitter i will confidently say 
No. No, you can't. Hence the glitter. That's why I'm wearing these ears today. I thought I'd go with balloon ears. Once upon a craft UK, I love her ears so much. They're my favourite ears. They don't push at all, and I could wear them all day. Birthday outfit. I could do like a birthday t-shirt, really. I'm just going with the purple theme. Anywho, I'm getting distracted. I actually forgot that Mom got me these little mermaid shorts. I love them. They are so nice. And they have, there we go, they have side pockets, which I love a good side pocket. And they are, they're obviously like workout shorts for going to the gym, but just out and about. And actually, these are perfect for Florida as well. So if you're walking around, these will be nice and light and airy. You can pop your phone in there and you're good to go. So they have aerial on them and it's a beautiful blue colour and then lots of different coral. Perfect for summer as well. Perfect. Okay. So, okay, there's three items left. I'm going to... Oh, I'll do those two kind of together. One second. This I won't be able to show uh, properly. But if you have TikTok, if you follow me on TikTok, Hannah Enchanted, I will be posting what's in here probably like one video per item and i will show you for why look at this makeup makeup don't sing because it's gonna we're gonna we're gonna cause it to rain we don't want it to rain lady gaga house laboratories makeup set now if oh goodness this might go horribly wrong Hopefully none of it falls out. There are two little slips in there. So, oh, they fell out. I felt them fall. Look at this. Hello there. Ooh. Look at this. Oh my word. So I, I'm not going to show all of this right now because it's a lot. But, I mean, if you want me to, if you want me to do like a video on just all of this, let me know in the comments and I can, I can do that. I can do a video on just this dedicated to this but for right now just like with the bitty pops it would be a lot i'm pretty sure there's one item that i did really quickly look at and i'm pretty sure it's some glitter mascara glitter so lady gaga and house laboratories i've been obsessed with lady gaga for years i love her songs love them look how big this is it's actually lighter than I thought. It's probably because there's a few bits and bobs in there, but it's the most beautiful display box. I'm blank on that side. Ooh, one second. Righto, the penultimate gift. Look at this. Pat Carroll, who voiced Ursula, signed lithograph. Signed lithograph, which perfectly leads on to the signed aerial lounge flight. I mean, what? So, amazing. Love it. Obviously, in a protective sleeve. We have to keep it protective. <sighs> My bestie in the US. Oh, we've been besties for years. More like sisters. And she knows how obsessed I am with The Little Mermaid and Jodie Benson. And I found out that she messaged my mum to say, does Hannah have this loungefly backpack? And mum was like, no, I've not seen that one having a sneaky look at my Disney collection, but very clever, very well played. This one lights up, by the way, which I will show in a moment, although I don't know how that's going to come up in the daylight. But there, there, and there, it lights up like the fireworks, and this moon glows in the dark. It lights up, it glows, it's aerial, and it's signed by Jodie Benson and the Little Mermaid. Yes, I teared up when I saw it. I'm allowed. So, here is the top. I will show it properly. It's the ship, when it's all the fireworks and Eric's party, and look at this. Because she is very near to Colorado. Was it the Denver Comic Con? Or Colorado Comic Con? And Jodie Benson was there. She went, she met Jodie Benson, obviously saw other people as well, and got her to sign this loungefly for me, and took some pictures of all three of them, well, all three of them, as in the loungefly, and Jodie Benson, and my bestie. And also Jodie Benson signing this. So I have those photos now as well. Oh my goodness. It's, it's perfection. Perfection. Jodie Benson is also now a doctor, by the way. So congratulations to her. Ariel is a doctor. But it has my name on it. And I love it. And Ariel. And then you have Ariel and Flounder and Sebastian at the bottom. 
I'm obsessed. So the sides on this one are just like that beautiful deep ocean blue colour and the top. And she has a lot of tags because she lights up and she glows in the dark. And on the back we have Scuttle in the fireworks. Right, I will take, I am obviously going to be very careful with this one. I need to find, will someone let me know, what's the best thing to use to kind of spray it, to set it, to seal it? I feel like a spray glue would probably leave residue that I do not want. So I, I don't know how to kind of protect it. When I'm not filming, I close the curtains so there will hopefully never be any sun damage to anything. So I keep the curtains closed at all times, apart from filming. Because we want some natural light here. Oh, goodness. But, yeah, I don't know what to do. <sighs> she has an air pocket. I didn't look inside, that part I left. Now I've got to be careful because at the front is the... Excuse me. At the front is the switch for the lighter part. So I do not want to catch that. The inner lining with an inner pocket is the fireworks and scuttle, so very similar to the back. Hopefully that's going to show up just there with that beautiful deep blue and this side you can see this part just here is where you will flick it for it to light up i mean obviously i can see it in person but hopefully did that show up off on off on off i could sit there doing that for ages hopefully that's coming up i mean i can see it on, off, on, off, on, off. Sorry. Calm down, how I? So I'll do a 360, but this, honestly, this is now my most treasured Loungefly backpack and the one that I would be the most distraught if anything ever happened to it. It really is. I love it. Okay, 360 time. So I do need to protect it somehow. I do have, actually, thinking about that, from Truffle Shuffle, one of their kind of protective boxes. Would that work? Is that a AV protected? Not AV protected, UV protected. Is that UV? I might have to check. So I could always pop it in that box. But I'm obsessed. So I did get a couple of other bits and bobs. I got lots of yummy chocolate, which a lot of that is already gone. Oh, my one bestie as well actually bought me some Moroccan hair stuff. Like a set with shampoo, conditioner and the Moroccan hair oil. I use that so often i've never used the shampoo and conditioner though but the moroccan hair oil i use and i do notice that it does leave my hair feeling a lot smoother when i use it and it came in the most beautiful travel bag because we've got some kind of old travel bags for like shampoo and conditioner and stuff so she's getting an upgrade and also to say a massive thank you to everyone that sent me birthday messages on tiktok instagram youtube very much appreciated and um, let's do it again next year that's the funny thing about birthdays, they're kind of an annual thing. Tangled reference. I do that sometimes because the one year a family member completely forgot that it was my birthday. So I went down the sarcastic route of like, mm, kind of an annual thing, same day every year. So that kind of, it's like a bit of a running joke now in the family. If anyone forgets a birthday, we always do the kind of same day every year, kind of an annual thing. Because Rapunzel, get my Rapunzel hair. Oh, also, if you watched my video on... When I change my hair, it has lightened a lot now, just in case anybody's interested. It's gone a lot more of that golden colour that I wanted. I think it was just the toner. But I was told by a very lovely friend of mine to use head and shoulders. I don't necessarily know what it means by it's a clarifying shampoo, but it worked a dream. It got the grey tinges out, so we're back to golden, which is exactly what I wanted. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.